Sport Time now. Amy, Amy's here. Laura's here. Amy, Amy's Amy was here. here. Laura's here now. Thank you very <laughs> and much. And Scotland has a Six Nations. Squad. Yes, yes, and we're getting closer to it. Thank you very much, Laura. Good evening. The countdown is well and truly on. In fact, it's just over two weeks until Scotland kick off their Six Nations campaign in front of a packed crowd at Murrayfield. Water relief, that will be to the 60-odd thousand fans with a ticket. And Scotland head coach Gregor Townsend continued his preparations by naming a 39-man squad who will contest games against against England, Wales, France, Italy and Ireland. Let's have a quick run through of the forwards, shall we? There are some uncapped players here. We'll get to them in a moment. Last year's player of the tournament, Hamish Watson, included other key players like Johnny Gray, Xander Fagerson and Jamie Ritchie are also in. Into the backs then. And Stuart Hogg will captain the side. There'll be a lot of expectation on British lines, Finn Russell and Ali Price. Cameron Redpath returns from a lengthy injury, but there's no place for Adam Hastings. He'll be very disappointed, no doubt. There are five new faces in the squad, two of whom are scrum halves. Edinburgh's Ben Velicott and Ben White from London Irish. Andy Christie is a back row forward for Saracens. London Irish winger Kyle Rowe and Glasgow Warriors flanker Rory Dart are also vying for a first cap. The man in charge said he faced some difficult decisions. Well, Scottish rugby fans prepare for every Six Nations campaign with plenty of hope. But this year, that may be elevated to expectation. It appears to be a team on the rise and who will forget a couple of memorable victories on the road in last season's championship against England at Twickenham and this last-minute win in Paris. What a match that was. But the Scots weren't in the running for the title, so will this be their year? Staying with football and the SPFL has confirmed the Premiership will take a one month break in November and December next season during the Qatar World Cup, which will hopefully, fingers crossed, feature Scotland. It was a busy night in the league last night with a little bit of something for everyone. 13 goals across five games, own goals, red cards and penalties. If you Weaknesses in, in his game. Yes, an early start for tennis fans tomorrow morning. Yes. Fingers crossed for another win. Exactly. Absolutely. Yes. Quite. Laura, thank you so thank much. You. Cheers, Laura. Uh, now then, you may have noticed earlier on today an announcement that England is getting rid of...